start off today by saying that you are in for such a treat because you would think that the number of claw machine related news articles would be super small, but there are so many news articles out there and they're all really ridiculous. Whoosh. The article that got me into this wormhole of claw machine news articles, it's called New Taipei Man Wastes Son's Tuition on Claw Machines Tries to Steal It Back. A 44-year-old man, Mr. Zheng, wasted his son's 5,000 NTD tuition on crane machines. He enlisted a 22-year-old co-worker to help him break into one of the claw machine arcades because they noticed that there were no cameras. Once they stole the 10,000 from the machine, they thought, eh, no cameras, we're good, and proceeded to stay inside of the store in broad daylight and count out. 10 by 10, all 10,000 coins. <laughs> Who would think that? Come on, let's go, 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 get it! And they take the money out. They're like, right, we're good, we got it. It's uh, one, two, three. How long would that take? They had 10,000 NT dollars. Police arrived within 10 minutes. <laughs> which I'm assuming wasn't enough time to count out all $10,000. Police simply asked, did you steal those? To which they replied, uh, yeah, we did, I guess, yeah. What is in these machines that make them so addicting to play? One, tissues slash toilet paper, as this news article reports grimly. Taiwan has fallen into the grips of a toilet paper panic. Claw machine owners cash in on toilet paper zombie wave. You know, I've been living here for a while and I don't remember any zombies. Or were they like zombies made of toilet paper? Well then that would be a, a mummy. Get your facts straight. This one guarantees you'll get the package of toilet paper.